Good morning. It is Krista. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. And it is time for another weekend reading vlog. Yay! I have absolutely nothing scheduled this weekend, which I'm super excited for. I have a really long to-do list. It's actually not as long as sometimes. And I put really dumb quick things on there like water my plants, which takes me less than two minutes. But it needs to get done. And I like the motivation of clicking that it's done. But something that I'm really looking forward to this weekend is doing some rearranging in my library room. I'll take you over there so you can kind of get a before shot in a minute. But also this weekend I plan on reading a good chunk of Fellowship of the Ring. I have finally finished the first section which was supposed to be done I think last Saturday if you're sticking along with like two weeks per section. But I'm really hoping to read a good bit of this before March happens because middle grade March is my life and I don't want to have too much of this to read in the month of March even though we are carrying this over to March so no rush for those of you who are reading along take your time if you need to but I would like to make a good chunk of it get a good chunk of it done this weekend I have some wild hairs today this is bedhead I didn't have to get up and shower yet I do plan on filming later so that'll happen I won't be like a mess all day but I'm also listening to the audiobook of River Secrets. This is the third book in the Books of Bayern Quartet, I believe, by Shannon Hale. I'm really enjoying this one so far, so I'm listening to that on audio. Then I also plan on picking up another book for the Booktube Prize, so I'm reading The Water Dancer. I did read a chapter of it already, and I'm not going to really tell you any thoughts along the way. I'll just tell you how much progress I make, because um, I can't share any thoughts about that until the first round is over but I plan on making a start in that. Yeah, then I just have like some bookish stuff, like cleaning my library. I have to, I'm using the currently reading podcast spreadsheet because I'm a Patreon for them. I'm one of their Patreon supporters and I got access to this spreadsheet, which I'm using this year to track my books, but I'm about 10 books behind in my tracking, which is not good. I need to get caught up before the end of February because I read so much in the month of March and it's going to be tricky. I need to come up with a better system for keeping track along the way. Um, it looks really pretty outside. It's nice blue skies, but it's only like 25 degrees, so it's very cold. I'm not sure I'm going to get outside very much today. I might just make it a day in. I don't know. You're going to come along with me, so I guess you'll see. But now I'm going to sit and read for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to get up and show you the library and get started in there. Okay, I'm going to take you into the library. I haven't cleaned it or done anything to it. I just um, the other day filmed my middle grade March TBR, so that is on the floor there. Oh, it's so unorganized right now. I have books kind of stacked all over. Here's what we're planning. I'm gonna make this shelf color-coded. I need to finish it. But this whole bottom area is red books. Um, as well as some among here and then those up there are also red books. I would like those to go out in the other room on this bookshelf. <laughs> so this is currently my middle grade bookshelf. That's going to go out into the living room. This step shelf, I don't like it up on top. Let me see if I can back up a little more. I don't like it up on top here. So I'm going to put this shelf in this corner. Then I have this whole top shelf here. I can rehang some things on the wall that I had that I really like. So it just needs to be rearranged. So today I'm gonna clear off this shelf, move it out into the other room, clear off this shelf, move it over to there, and then start rearranging. Let's see how much I can get done today. This makes me really happy. It's clearly not a finished product, but I'm really excited about color, having a color shelf again. I may do it on both of those shelves I'm not sure yet I guess we're gonna have to see but there's a lot of work that needs to happen <laughs> If you've been watching my vlogs before, you know that I work in 15 minute increments and then I'm gonna go and sit and read. But let me just show you what I've gotten done already. 
I need to turn this around. I already cleared off the shelf and moved it. All the books are kind of everywhere. And it's sitting over here emptied off and dusted. And the books are all there from the other shelf. Now let's walk. Sorry that that was dizzy making mess. <laughs> into the living room. There it is, the empty shelf. Uh, it's going to live in this corner. And I started putting my children's like picture books down on the bottom shelf. So that one's in here and dusted and it kind of will match sort of the shelf that I have on the other side of the couch. Let's see if I can back up. So it kind of gives it some symmetry. I need to hang. I do have some stuff to hang there. I just haven't done it yet. So that might happen today too. That is 15 minutes of cleaning done. So now I'm going to sit down and read for 15 minutes of, from the Fellowship of the Ring. Yay! Getting, getting it done today. Getting it done. Okay, well, it's almost one o'clock and I think I'm done for the library project today. I'll have to finish more of it tomorrow. But I wanted to show you how far I got. Now my middle grade shelves are lovely and overflowing. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when I have to add that pile right there, which is my TBR for the month of March. Yikes. I'm gonna have to add those. I might have to get rid of some, but the first, these three here are unread. These are like favorites. My Kate Camillo books are up here. These are all Newberry medal winners and Newbery honor winners and then red books on the bottom and then I made some progress with this shelf I'm not sure I have to stack some the tall way I think so that I can fit a few more on there but down at the bottom I have some hardcovers and then Louise Penny I moved over to here so I could see them all I don't know if I like it enough yet but I still have all of these that were in my stack shelf so I have to figure out some more things here but let me take you out here's my living room shelf now these are all red books uh, I have again like children's books down at the bottom they're loosely organized down here is like contemporary contemporary books and some series I need to put that on my Jane Austen shelf then I have somewhat kind of classics they're still mixed in a little bit and some fantasy and then this is historical fiction. So World War II historical fiction on this side and the rest of historical fiction over there. I have to figure out what to put on top. Probably more books, but I'll have to choose which ones. But I like it. I like it. I'm happy. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning now. I'm sorry I didn't vlog anymore last night. Um, I did a lot of reading yesterday and... Ended up having a surprise call from a good friend of mine from Massachusetts who was traveling home with her family from Florida. And they're like, hey, do you want to go out to dinner? I'm like, of course I want to go out to dinner. Here's a picture of my friend Mindy. It was a wonderful treat. Um, I am sitting in front of my new bookshelf in the living room. It's not a new bookshelf. It's from the other room, but I brought it out here. So it's kind of fun to have another place to potentially film now and then. Uh, good light in here. So... Uh, I am halfway done getting ready. I still need to straighten the hair, but um, I don't really have anything set in stone today. I'm planning on going to the main branch of the Richmond Library today. They have concerts every once in a while on a Saturday afternoon. Today is chamber music at 2 p.m. So I might go and check that out. Uh, I'm planning on going to check that out just for something different and fun to get out. It is going to be in the 50s again today. No more snow, thank goodness. So I may end up going for a run later on. I need to do some stuff for church today. But other than that, I already did like a lot of the cleaning and stuff I wanted to do yesterday. So today is just reading, reading, and a couple fun things. So I am right now sitting down to read 15 minutes of the Fellowship of the Ring. I'm almost to the middle of the book, to our second stopping point to um, for the Lord of the Read-Along on Goodreads. So I'm really excited to be making some good progress in this. I finished the audiobook of River Secrets by Shannon Hale. I finished that this morning while I was kind of making breakfast and getting my day started. 
Uh, so that's exciting. I, I will be starting another audiobook today. So I have two options that I've already borrowed from Hoopla. Uh, I have Forestborn, which is the fourth book in the books of Bayern. I might just kind of keep going with the audiobooks of those. I'm really enjoying the audiobooks. I'm enjoying the story, but I might take a little break from it and do kind of a contemporary Christian romance. I think it's a Christian romance. It might just be a clean romance. I don't know. Called The Dating Charade. I enjoy fake dating trope in romance books. So I think that that might be a fun, just something different, especially in the midst of reading books for the BookTube Prize and even this one that's a little bit, this is not heavy. So far it's been very easy to read and I'm really enjoying it, but it's like fantasy and a lot of world building and it might just be fun to kind of escape into a lighthearted, fun, quick romance. So I'm not sure which of those audiobooks I'm going to start today, but I'll let you know. I also have some podcasts to get caught up on. One of the, I, I started listening to two new podcasts lately. I already love uh, Currently Reading Podcast and Sarah's Bookshelves Live and What Should I Read Next? Those are like my three go-to podcasts that I try to listen to every week. Oh, and From the Front Porch. I've talked about those before. I can't wait till Katie and Molly start theirs back up. No thanks, we're booked. Um, I'm hoping that someday as they get settled into life with their babies that is something that they start back up. But two new ones that I've found are Diving In, which is another pair. I seem to like um, podcasts that have two people kind of talking back and forth. Diving In is a pair of ladies from Australia, I believe. And so I'm really enjoying that one. Oh, three new podcasts. Another one, another bookish one that I've started listening to is Read It or List It. And these are two friends who met on Bookstagram and started a podcast, kind of similar to Katie and Meredith from Currently Reading. Same kind of a story. Um, the setup of theirs is going to be a little different where they're going to do a theme or a topic and do a couple podcasts on that same topic. So that's kind of fun. And then the third new podcast that I've started listening to, oh no, there's another one too. Oh my word. I've totally been getting into podcasts. So if you're a booktuber and you're wondering, how come Kristen never comments on my videos anymore? I do still watch a lot of booktube, but I've definitely been getting into podcasts lately. Uh, anyways, the third new, new-ish podcast I've been listening to is the Rad Podcast. I think a rad podcast. I feel like that's what she calls it. It's Rachel. Rachel Dawson is a fellow Richmond, Virginia person, friend. I don't really know her that well. And we've never met in real life, even though we live in the same city. But um, she is uh, the all, all the rad reads on Bookstagram. And um, she started a podcast and she's only she has two episodes so far. And it's in I like it. She is a woman of faith, very strong in her Christian faith. And so She's coming from that worldview, which I particularly appreciate. Um, and her podcast is nice and short, which I also really like. It's like fits my drive to work. <laughs> uh, so that's perfect timing for me. And so she does what she's reading or something bookish for the R. R is reading. A is an action, like kind of like a, a challenge or an action step that she's taken lately that she kind of shares. And then D is for discussion, like just something to think about and talk about. Uh, so I like, I like the setup of how she, I like how she has set up her podcast. And then the good list is the fourth one. And this is another one that's really short. Tish Austin, Austin writer. I forget her full name, but I'll put pictures of all these over here and link them in the description box below. This one is just a list of good things. She just talks for 15 minutes or so about something good in her life. So she's done libraries and candles and Memento Mori is the most recent one. Thinking about your life and the legacy that you want to leave and remembering that we are going to die someday, which seems kind of morbid, but the way she talks about it is very cool. I'm really enjoying all of those for newish podcasts. So there you go. <laughs> that could have been a whole separate video, but I just wanted to share those with you. I'm not even sure how I got started talking about that. Um, anyways, I'm going to sit and read for 15 minutes and then I'm going to finish getting ready for my day and I will check in with you later and let you know how my Saturday is going. Wouldn't be a good weekend vlog if I didn't have a car shot in it, right? <laughs> so I am at the library now and I am headed in to check out these concerts that they have occasionally. I think I mentioned it this morning. Uh, a couple times a month maybe they have these concerts and I've never been to one. 
And so I'm going to go exploring today. I messaged my friend to see if she could come with me. She couldn't, so I'm going solo. Here's hoping that it's pretty cool. I'm hopeful. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I just think that it'll be a fun, something different to go see. And if I can, I will record a little bit. If not, I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. <laughs> just a one hour concert they played four songs uh it was more contemporary music they're doing another concert tomorrow that's going to be more like traditional or classical uh one of the songs sounded like a kid picking up the cello for the first it was a cello solo here's a picture of the music of it for anybody who reads music it's like a piece of art rather than a piece of music but it was super interesting I feel like I just didn't get it <laughs> that song it wasn't super enjoyable for me but I enjoyed watching the cellist play it because he was so into it so that was a lot of fun actually all of them were really into the music and just so so cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Next week in the Gelman Room concert series is a children's choir. So I'm hoping to come again next Saturday. I feel like it's a nice like one hour, something cultural kind of like get out of the house and do something fun. So I'm excited. I am sad that it took me two and a half years to come to my first concert at the library, but I'm gonna do it again because it was worth it. Definitely very cool. I will not wear a Sherpa next time because I was a little toasty, but that's because it's beautiful outside. So I'm gonna go home and change, I think, and go out for a walk. I don't feel like running today, but maybe I'll just go for a nice, good, long walk. We'll see, but I'll chat with you later. Happy Sunday morning. I am all ready to go to church and I'm a little bit early, so I thought I would film my first clip of the day before church. I did finish listening to the dating charade yesterday. I listened to it while I was driving around on the way to the concert and stuff, and then while I was doing stuff around the house. And then this morning I woke up at four o'clock and couldn't fall back asleep, so I'm like, let me just finish. So I did. <laughs> Crazy. It was very cute, very PG. Uh, only a kiss happens between the couple, um, but it's about this woman who's having a hard time finding love on online, like goes out on a lot of really bad dates, and she works at this kind of shelter for young girls, not a shelter, but like an after care, after school care place for them, and they all kind of get involved with helping her find somebody. Her best friend kind of sets her up on a date with this hunky fireman and things ensue. <laughs> no. Uh, it's kind of funny because they both at the beginning express that they don't really want kids, but then she ends up getting uh, protective custody of some of the, of one of the teenagers and the younger sisters of the people, the kids that she works with, and he ends up getting custody of his sister's three kids um, because 
of just bad situations and um, they don't want to tell the other person because right at the beginning both of them express that they're not interested in having kids so that's where the charade comes in uh, it was had a lot of heart um, it was I would I on Goodreads I think I saw it labeled as Christian fiction and they go to church but there is absolutely no like sometimes in Christian fiction there's a big section or a big theme of their faith and this one it's a little bit I, w I don't want to say it's on the back burner it's just a part of their lives but they don't the book is not trying to preach anything it's not trying to get any kind of a point across it's just not gonna have bedroom scenes <laughs> so I thought it was a great story uh, it quickly I flew through it in 24 hours um, so if you're looking for a romance without any bedroom scenes Maybe this is one to pick up. And if you're interested in foster care and adoption at all, this also had those elements in it as well. So, and if you're interested in hunky firemen, <laughs> this had that as well. <laughs> so a lot of fun. But today, um, I'm going to church in a little bit and then I'm hoping to run because I did not end up going outside to exercise yesterday because I forgot I had to run to church and do some things there. So I had to do that after the concert. And then I came home and just read and I, I did a lot of editing yesterday so I put up one video this morning this one's going up tomorrow or today with that you're watching it and then I had to finish doing my middle grade March TBR which is going up on Wednesday yay um, so I did a lot of editing yes last night and I was hoping to get to that end of part two of or part one officially of Fellowship of the Ring, but didn't quite get there, but I'll definitely get there today and then make some good progress in the Water Dancer. But I will check in later this afternoon and let you know how it's all going. Here we go. It is almost 60 degrees, so I have no excuse for not going out for a run today. So I'm starting with a little walk because I'm adding on a little bit today. I'm going to try to at least do three miles, if not three and a half. I'm trying a little bit of a different route in my neighborhood. I'm gonna see how I can add on because I have a route that's 2.1 I have a route that's two and a half but I'm just adding in another street or two to see if that makes what I need we shall see but it's a beautiful day it's like 58 degrees I think outside right now which is awesome yay all right here we go Ugh. well I did it I'm pretty pleased I ended up going 3.2 miles and walked like the first tenth of a mile or so and then ran a mile and a half without stopping so I'm increasing that distance where I can go without stopping um, but altogether I did 3.2 and I didn't just walk the second half of it I would like walk till that house over there or till that tree uh, or this block and then I would start running again so all in all it took 45 minutes so I'm definitely not going fast even when I am running it's still like 12 and a half minute miles so super slow but I'm okay with that I'm really trying to pay attention to my back because I've had some back issues and running is a little bit tougher on your joints than just walking or whatever so I'm trying to pay attention and be kind to myself but also push myself a little bit so I feel good I'm super pink right now and it's still really nice out so I'm sitting outside I brought my laptop out here partly because my phone was gonna die I was so nervous it was gonna die while I was running um, so I had to turn off everything. I, I tried to listen to music, I tried to listen to a podcast, I listened to Hoopla, to my, an audiobook, but I just had to turn everything off except for my running app because I wanted to see how far I was going and my Fitbit is dead, so <laughs> that wasn't gonna help. Um, and I made it home with 1% left, yikes. So my phone is charging on my laptop. I'm gonna start updating my middle grade collab video. I've been getting lots of responses from people, so I'm gonna add in all the new ones that I've gotten in the last couple days. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to send out some reminders today as well to see who else wants to add their two cents because there's still time. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I would love to give a recommendation, let me know. Email me, booksandjams at gmail.com or find me on Instagram and slide into my DMs. So yeah, I'm really excited about how it's coming together. Uh, I'm always it's one of my favorite projects I do every year for Middle Grade March. I just love it. But I'm going to get working on that. Cool down out here. I need to go get a big glass of water. That's what I need. And then, then I'll be able to relax for the evening because I've done 
all the things. <laughs> okay, I brought the party inside after sitting outside for about 15 minutes. I got pretty chilly, but I'm still in my running clothes. I need to change. I'm about to go have some dinner. I have no idea what I'm gonna make for dinner, but I'm really excited about the middle grade collab. It's coming together. I so far have 14 people, and I just sent out a ton of reminders to people who said that they wanted to participate. So hopefully I will at least double that, if not more, before the end of this week. Yay, I'm so excited. Uh, and I also decided I'm gonna do a cozy reading night tonight because why not? I don't have anything else planned for the evening. I got almost all of my to-do list done this weekend. And so I am going to get comfy, go clean my room for a few minutes, have dinner, and then get ready to sit down, light a candle. I might have some wine tonight or some cocoa. I don't know. I'm going to make a drink and just get ready to relax. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I think I might have found a comfortable spot, another comfortable spot in my house to read. It makes me happy now that there's books here too. Um, but I'm sitting out on my couch for a little cozy reading night. I'm going to be going back and forth between Fellowship of the Ring and The Water Dancer. And I have another book on my Kindle that I might get to as well this evening. But I have, I have a big old glass of water, just a couple chocolates, a candle going. I popped some popcorn. And since I'm reading Fellowship of the Ring, I put on a Lord of the Rings ambient sound songs and music it's kind of this wonderful landscape which is kind of like where they're traveling in fellowship of the ring there was one for rivendell but it is not working tonight on youtube so the plan is to read for about 45 minutes and then get up and like do a face mask slash wash my face and then sit back down starting at each hour. So read for 45 minutes of each hour. That is the plan until 10 o'clock when I'm going to stop and get ready for bed. But maybe I'll keep going like I did last time. I guess we'll have to see. So I will check in throughout the evening and let you know how it's going. <laughs> So want to start putting this or finish putting this vlog together so it can go up in the morning but I wanted to leave you with three little words of affirmation from my dove dark chocolates ready believe in the ones you love trust with your heart not your head and be happy be you well that's not gonna focus sorry those are the words for the evening I have one last little chocolate to eat. I'm going to read 15 to 20 more pages of The Water Dancer, at least finish up this chapter and maybe the next one. And then I'm going to work on this vlog. And then I'm going to go to bed. I thought I was going to leave you with those dove quotes, but before I go, I should probably tell you about all of the reading that ended up happening this weekend. I did make it halfway through Fellowship of the Ring, at least through the first section. There's like a part two now. So I made it up to book two. Yay. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this way more than I anticipated. Way more than my intimidation was leading me to believe. But we haven't really gotten into the evil side of things quite yet. That might not come in this book. But we have get little glimpses with the Black Riders. But we haven't gotten to Mordor and Sauron and the orcs and all of the evil that is part of this world. Um, so when that stuff comes, we'll see what I think. But for now, I'm really enjoying this. I can't tell you what I think about the water dancer, but I can tell you I'm making good progress. So, well, I still have quite a ways to go. 
I'm I'm only just like maybe a quarter of the way through this one so I have a ways to go but I'm making progress so I did finish the dating charade on audio I did finish River Secrets on audio and I started Forest Born on audio which is the third book fourth book in the books of Bayern I think it might be the last one so lots of audiobooks lots of reading got done this weekend even though I did a lot of things too so Thanks for coming along for the ride. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. You guys know I love chatting with you down there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell because you know I'm not on a schedule. So if you want to know when I post a new video, get on my little notification squad. <laughs> oh my word, I'm a dork. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll be talking to you in another video very soon. Middle grade March. TBR comes out on Wednesday. I'm so excited. Bye, friends.